Hello, wonderful person, this is Anton, and welcome back to, hopefully, or I guess, maybe, possibly, the last part of the Kerbal Space tutorial, where we're making our own script uh, and automating everything using Python. This is using KRPC mod, and the Python scripts that I've been posting on GitHub, they're available in the description below. Uh, today, we're doing the moon landing. This is a script uh, that I wrote for it, and it's very, very similar to the one we used before, where we landed on Kerbin. I just had to kind of adjust a few values and uh, specifically one thing that I changed like pretty much everything here is the same uh, we have our measurement of altitude um, of vessel flight using the surface altitude value we also have the um, speed value using orbital speed we uh, are using autopilot and uh, pointing ourselves in retrograde and the only thing that's kind of different here is when we start firing engines based on altitude. So the first check I do is at the altitude of 15,000 meters. Um, until then, nothing happens. That's why it says pass. And as soon as this altitude is reached, we check for orbital speed. And if our orbital speed is over 500, which is actually, it's going to be over 500, we're going to engage our engine. And as soon as it's below 500, we'll stop our engine. Second check at 7,000 meters, same thing. And then we're also going to print, okay, 7,000 finished or done. Uh, here, what it's doing at 7,000, um, it's basically checking if the speed is over 250. Uh, then it's doing the same thing. And third step is 1,500 meters. And this is actually where things get a little bit tricky because you might be measuring the wrong um, altitude here. I actually made sure that I'm measuring altitude right above the surface by uh, creating a stream that only measures vessel surface altitude. If you're measuring just a general altitude, you'll unfortunately most likely be colliding with the moon because sometimes you land on a mountain or on a slightly elevated surface. So you might be cal calculating the wrong altitude. Right here, this is not showing you the correct altitude. So you cannot be using this. Uh, and the last part here, uh, right when we get to 300 meters, this is when we'll start doing more sort of specific adjustments. So here, for as long as we're above 50 meters, we're going to make sure that our speed does not get to over 12 meters per second. So it's not really a suicide burn, but it's more sort of a safe landing. We're going to be make sure that our speed is always sort of around 12 or anywhere from like zero to 12. Um, we're also are going to make sure that we're not throttling to 100%. We're only going to be using half a throttle. Otherwise, if it gets too fast, we'll uh, turn the throttle off. And lastly, in the last uh, sort of part of the landing between 5 and 50 meters, we're going to maintain speed of 10 and use only 20% of the throttle. This is usually enough because by then we won't really have much fuel left and uh, we'll also not really be going that fast anyway. When everything is done, so below 5 meters, we just completely turn off the engine and hopefully gently land on the moon. So let's see how this goes. I'm hoping for a really, really safe landing. And to start this, we're actually going to accelerate time a little bit and basically advance to right here. Um, so normally what you would do is you could actually add a few lines in the script to do an automatic warp. We did this previously in one of the previous parts where I showed you how to do warps. And you can also find this on the KRPC tutorial uh, site. For the purposes of this video, and just to keep the script short, we're just going to kind of do this manually. So right now, oops, I'm going way too fast. I'm going to start engaging my script and um, hmm, looks like we might be landing on the dark side of the moon, unfortunately. Oh, and by the way, this is a continuation from the previous part where we actually finished burning our engines. And I decided to just continue from here as well. So, all right, so let's start the script and I'll show you what it does. We're going to go in here. We might as well save the game just in case. And start the script. It says deorbiting vessel. And it will start positioning the vessel um, toward retrograde. So we're always going to be pointing toward retrograde. Here, until we get to 15,000 meters, nothing will happen. So we can actually go ahead and warp to, I guess, this location here. Until we get to lower altitude. Because until... Uh, until around, around here, nothing will actually happen. All right, and it's going to be a little bit hard to see this, but as soon as we start firing the engines, you'll hopefully see everything. Right now, the surface speed is 720 meters per second and dropping um, because we're basically being pulled by the moon's gravity. 
and the altitude is about 77,000. So I'm going to accelerate them just a little bit and wait until we drop to about 20,000 because that's actually uh, where the first check is, right? So uh, 15,000, sorry. At 15,000, this is where we check our first um, velocity value. Now, I don't like how we're landing on the dark side. This is not what I was hoping for, but we're going to do this landing twice. So this is just a test landing and it's actually perfect sort of opportunity for us to see how good the script is at landing us in a position where we would not be able to land manually. Like here, how would you possibly land manually if you can't even see the surface, right? So landing on the dark side is usually really, really difficult unless you use mech jab. This script will hopefully save us from this. So let's see how it works. Uh, and this is completely by chance. I didn't really actually expect this. So first check, it's dropping the speed to about 500. And stop. Oh, okay. And second check, it already reached the second check actually. You can see carbon in the background. Uh, and now it's going to go for the third check. You can actually see the checks as they come. So 7,000 done. Uh, the third check will be at 1,500. And there it comes. And now it's going to kind of gently approach the surface, starting with, I believe, 1,500, right? And look at that. So it dropped the speed quite dramatically. And now it's going to do these gentle drops making sure the speed never actually goes to uh more than 12. it's it's currently at between three and four so that's not a suicide burn but it's a very gentle landing and look at that look at that we're actually just landed it's kind of hard to see because there's no lights here right now and i didn't really bring any lights but we're we've landed we're officially landed on on the surface and i guess the only way i can show you this is to wait until the sun comes up here so we're gonna actually run the simulation super fast until we get to see some sunlight. Uh, but basically, look at that. Look at how perfect this landing is. Um, this only took me a single try. And even though I could not see anything, we were able to land right here on the moon. Now, I want to try this again on the actual um, lighter area and also possibly in a crater or something that uh, is a little bit more difficult to land on. So let's see how, uh, how well this simple script does on a more difficult terrain. And so for our second attempt, we're going to be landing uh, more or less sideways, or I guess with a lot of lateral velocity and uh, right here, somewhere in a little crater and on, on the bright side. So let's do this again. We're going to re-enable, um, okay, it's already enabled. We're going to start the script and wait for everything to start as well. Okay, the script started and basically let's just see how the uh, how Python handles this landing. It's a little bit more difficult because uh, we're going to have a lot more lateral velocity, but hopefully everything goes fine. I can actually accelerate time a little bit, uh, wait for us to get to the altitude of about 15,000 and then right around here, re-enable or basically stop warping, uh, re-enable normal speed. So now we just wait. Uh, the surface speed here is a lot less, mostly because of the approach I chose. Uh, but nevertheless, though, this is going to be a, a different type of a landing. It's, it's more sideways than it is completely horizontal like it was before. Or completely vertical, that is. So here we can actually accelerate them a little bit more. Uh, you can actually warp and the script will still activate. But uh, it won't be as accurate if you're warping too fast. So I, I'm not going to be warping way too fast because I don't want this to overshoot. So I think we'll be landing in possibly one of these craters, although maybe not. Maybe we'll actually be landing right, be right uh, before them. So maybe in this little crevice right here. But let's see what happens. Um, I'm actually kind of curious. I haven't done this before. Uh, so this is the, the first time this is completely hands off. And I'm basically not doing anything other than writing the script. So I'll just kind of wait and see what happens here. Um, it's going to slow down to 250, perfect. And now it's going to wait until it gets to lower altitudes. And um, there's a big chance we're going to be actually landing on a uh, inclined surface. And that could actually be a problem because this craft is not designed for that. Now, there is a way for us to create another script that actually even checks for the actual surface you're landing on. And 
if the oh you can actually see the shadow right there if the um, inclination is too high it will choose a different location this is a more complex script that i think we'll keep for another day for now though i think this is good this is good enough because most of your like 90 percent of your landings will usually be in a desirable location you can always manually adjust them as well so here we go uh altitude decreasing speed decreasing as well let's see how well it does starting now okay very good very good it totally decreased its lateral velocity almost completely and now it's just basically vertically landing very gently now i'm a little bit worried about the incline you can kind of see yeah this is not gonna work well for us this is too inclined way way too inclined and but look at how gentle this was this was perfect it's actually standing i cannot believe that it's actually standing this is an insane landing there's no way i would have done this manually absolutely no way look at how perfect this is it's actually standing on two legs anyway well that's really it uh check out the script in the description below uh it's super super simple there's really nothing to it it just has a bunch of uh while loops that check for every condition this works on other objects as well you can do this on minmus you can do this on duna um you might need to readjust some of these depending on how powerful your rocket is i initially started with 0.5 but that was too powerful i realized it was not really doing a good job so i lowered this to 20 percent but other than that this is actually it thank you so much for watching hopefully you enjoyed the series and if you have any other questions or suggestions post them in the comments below and maybe we'll come back and do another part where we take this to an even more advanced sort of uh, locations or do something crazier with it as well. I'm totally surprised that I was able to land on such an inclination, but I guess Python works. What can I say? Thank you for watching, guys. Space out, subscribe, potentially share this video with someone who enjoys Kerbal Space Program and come back tomorrow to learn something else. And as always, bye-bye. And since we landed here, might as well go and plant the flag, right, Valentina Kerman? All right, so this is absolutely insane. The rocket is still kind of moving though, but... Oh no, oh no, that is not... No, there's no way I'm gonna stop now. She's gonna keep tumbling down. Even though the rocket is standing still. That is pretty ironic, isn't it? Oh well, maybe no flag for us this time.